What's up guys? I'm at the Beer Can House in Houston. This was started in 1968 by a local railroad guy named John Milkovich. <laughs> there are over 50,000 cans and bottles of beer that cover this house. He decided he wanted to stop mowing the lawn and uh, people asked, what, what made you choose the beers that you did? And he said he would get whatever is on sale. And back in the late 60s, that shit was pretty cheap. So um, he covered this whole place in beer from 1968 until he passed in uh, 1988. And when he died, they cremated him and his ashes are strewn about the place. If you want to visit, you can do like us and just stop by just to check it out. But if you want a tour, you can hear the beer cans in the wind. That is so awesome. Um, this is owned by the Orange Show Center for Visionary, Visionary Art. And um, due to the COVID, they're open from 12 to 5 Saturday and Sunday, and you have to get your um, tickets online ahead of time. And then you've got some uh, pandemic rules and regulations. Families will only be allowed on the property one group at a time. Masks must be worn at all times. Hand sign needs ties and station will be placed strategically around each site. We offer cashless transactions, so no money. Employees will, will disinfect restrooms, countertops, and other public tractor seats and nord knob okay so this is more for the uh the actual orange show down in south houston but get a look at the the driveway going back to the shed back there just covered in beer cans you've got the the beer can tops hanging down chiming in the as wind chimes it's a pretty cool little sound that we had there Got a little pyramid here. We've got some bottles down in there. Can all of these cans lining the place. It's a lot of freaking beer. A lot of freaking beer this guy drank. Texas Pride, extra light. You know that shit was on sale. <laughs> Live by the golden rule. They've got mail. So they still get mail here at the beer can house. One of the great things. Oh, so you might be, you might wonder how like you look around this neighborhood and it is nothing like this house. Like you've got these like mansions across the street and next door. Um, actually on both sides of it, you've got these monstrosities. But you see, you see the house. This is what all the houses in the neighborhood looked like at the time. And Houston has no zoning laws and really no, especially in the 60s, they didn't really give a crap what you did in the city limits. Um, when you live outside of the city limits, there are homeowners associations, but here there was not. So you could do whatever you want. And that actually, the fact that he did that saved this house. Like I said, all the, almost all the other houses in this neighborhood have been demolished um, and, and replaced with these modern pieces of garbage. But this house will be here, um, hopefully forever, preserved through the generosity of art donors and the Orange Show Foundation. So this is something that uh, you won't see in most other cities because it just wouldn't be allowed. But that's one of the great things about Houston is you can do something crazy like this with your house if you want. So it, it saved this house from being demolished and, and replaced like, like some of these other houses. Look at this. It's just surrounded. It's just surrounded by these. Very cool. Definitely uh, check it out on your most epic adventure. Oh shit, that was corny. <laughs>